Once upon a midnight dreary, while I pondered weak and weary, over many a quaint and curious volume of forgotten lore, while I nodded nearly napping, suddenly there came a tapping, as of someone gently rapping, rapping at my chamber door. Tis some visitor, I muttered, tapping at my chamber door. Only this and nothing more. If you didn't understand what was happening, I just couldn't resist to film an intro in such atmosphere. Hit a like if you didn't understand why the hell I am reading Edgar Allan Poe from Patricia Cornell book. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I've changed decorations a little bit and I've decided to make my first vlog, kind of vlog. Honestly, lately I felt such a huge stagnation in my work because because of this quarantine I spent all the time at home and it felt like I have no energy, no inspiration, it was difficult to create content, to work on ideas, etc. And when lockdown became easier and people were allowed to travel between cities, I've decided to make a little trip and to spend some time in mountains. Guys, I'm so sorry, it's very cloudy today and I'm sorry for the bad lighting, it will it will be changing all the time, so I'm sorry. I've rented three houses for five days each and in general my trip will last about 15 or 17 days. So I will be able to create a lot of amazing content. I had very old dream to spend weekend in some kind of cabin in the forest. I'm actually a big lover of mountains, forests, woods, mountain rivers and I'm very close to make my dream come true. It was very difficult to get here because this is kind of rainy season and this house is located in the mountains and actually the road here was two kilometers of dirt. I have no idea how I will drive down if the rain will become harder. If you want to see how I climbed onto the tree, subscribe to my OnlyFans. I will leave a link in description for you. So my adventure started from the first day when about 11 pm the electricity was turned off and I called to the house owner and she said that the whole village is without electricity at this moment and she doesn't know when it will be turned on. And it was extremely scary. It was hard rain, thunder, I was alone and it was... I was like... <laughs> the signalization was turned off as well and there was one door that hadn't locked at all. It was impossible to lock it and it was extremely scary. I took the X to my room. But the scariest thing was that Wi-Fi was dead. happens every time when I'm trying to take sunny pictures. Also, I found a new friend here. The neighbor told me that one family left him some time ago here. He came to my door after my arrival with look like, hey, let me in. His story is very sad because he was left by his owners, by his family. And also neighbor told me that he comes to every visitors of this house. 
like in the hope that his family will come back. Luckily, he lives in a very beautiful place right now, and the neighbor is a very kind woman, and she loves him and takes care of him. Of course, weather here is changing all the time, every five minutes, but I'm trying to not lose my spirit because I have so many plans. I want to film few YouTube videos, I want to make a lot of pictures for my Instagram and of course I want to make a lot of content for my OnlyFans. My OnlyFans has regular updates, a lot of exclusive content and what's more important, communication. I spend hours every day to communicate with my followers and I will be very glad to see you on my OnlyFans. You will find all links below. Tomorrow I am going for a hiking into the deep forest. So if I will not upload a new video during next week, probably I got lost. So thank you so much for being with me. You are the best followers. And I hope to see you soon.